Hi everyone, so I'm about to do my job offset, um, in this case my work offset, in this case it's at the top of my stock and I thought that this tip might slot in well with my part 1 video on the QTC spindle solution uh, that I use from Technomota. So it's very important to make sure that the tool that is going to go into your spindle that you're going to use to do your job offset with is actually the tool that is current and active, hot if you want to call it that, in your software, in my case it's tool 10. But what you also have to do is to cross verify that tool 10 is the actual tool, in my case it's a 10 mm 2 flute which this is. So tool 10 is the correct tool I want to do my work offset with and tool 10 is hot, active and tool 10 is in my hand. So this is going to go into my spindle. Now just as a reference, you can use any tool to do your job offset with. You can use your, your charm for end mill if you want, it doesn't really matter. By, um, by rule, my rule is I always try and use the biggest tool I have to do my job offset. Anything else will work. The key here is, if you're going to use a 6mm drill to do your job offset, you have to have that tool, that specific tool, whatever it is in your job list here, that tool has to be active and you're going to slot that drill into your spindle to do your work offset. It's really as simple as that. So now I insert this tool into my into my spindle I know that that's a correct tool it's hot and it's a correct tool in my database I can now do my uh, job offset it's as simple as that